Christopher Columbus was, by any rational standard, the greatest discoverer in history, the man who accomplished more to expand the knowledge of our world uh, and to bring it to, together, uh, to bring it into contact, its distant part, than any other in all of all time. Christopher Columbus was a self-made man. Uh, he started in life with no advantages at all. He came from a poor family in Genoa, Italy, uh, who, and he had to uh, earn his own way as a seaman uh, from his middle teen. Uh, his family was devoutly Catholic, as Columbus himself was throughout his life. Uh, though uh, some have tried to find a different origin for him, the historical evidence is overwhelming that his family was Catholic and so was he. Though he was born in Italy and spent his boyhood there, uh, he uh, spent all his adult life uh, in Portugal and Spain. He enters into history, as a matter of fact, uh, floating in to shore in Portugal on an oar from several miles out when the, the Italian ship he was on was sunk in a battle and, and he was cast ashore in southern Portugal. And there he lived for uh, quite a number of years, uh, and this was what first aroused his interest in, uh, in maritime exploration, uh, in uh, uh, the learning more about distant seas and distant lands. The Portuguese during the 1400s, the 15th century, uh, had begun a truly extraordinary maritime enterprise. Uh, the first European people in history to reach out overseas beyond Europe. Uh, led by the great Prince Henry the Navigator, uh, the Portuguese uh, had begun to sail down the coast of Africa, uh, along the coast here, hoping to find a route to India uh, around the southern end of Africa. No one knew how far south Africa extended. Uh, Columbus, after having landed in Portugal, shipwrecked, uh, took service uh, with the Portuguese and sailed with their ships down the coast of Africa. At this point uh, in the uh, 1460s and 1470s, the Portuguese had reached about this point here on now the Gulf called the Gulf of Guinea. So this was quite an extensive area of the African coast that Columbus uh, became familiar with. And uh, as he uh, sailed on these voyages, he became more and more interested in the Atlantic Ocean, which no one had ever crossed uh, except for the Norsemen, the Vikings, up in this area. Uh, and uh, this was very little known in Europe. It's still argued whether Columbus knew that they had uh, explored in this area. If he did, their discoveries would not have particularly interested him. He was not looking for Arctic islands. Uh, but he did uh, uh, investigate the Atlantic. He sailed out here to these uh, islands, the Madeira Islands, the Canaries, uh, and did sail out to Iceland once, sailed to England and to Ireland, becoming uh, uh, more and more familiar with the uh, um, eastern Atlantic and its uh, uh, weather and wind patterns. Uh, and there is uh, uh, good reason to believe that Columbus understood was the first seaman to understand uh, that um, he um, w uh, that he was the first seaman to realize the prevailing wind patterns uh, in the Atlantic. Uh, and uh, the the most these important wind patterns go like this: the trade winds blow from east to west across here in this part of the Atlantic Ocean. The prevailing westerlies blow from west to east up here. Columbus, voyaging up and down the Atlantic coast, realized this, that the winds were blowing one way here and another way here. The uh, sailing ships of that time uh, found it difficult to sail against the wind. It was important to have the wind behind them or nearly behind them. Therefore, Columbus realized that if he would cross the Atlantic Ocean, he could go across this way and come back this way. Uh, this was a tremendously important discovery which made his uh, later voyage possible. Columbus also developed in these early uh, years of his uh, sailing experience an extraordinary ability at what is called dead reckoning. Uh, without the aid of instruments, which were very primitive and unreliable in those days, he could determine how far he had gone in a given day. 
uh, how uh, much distance, uh, they were measured in leagues rather than miles in those days at sea, how much distance he had covered uh, without uh, the aid of anything other than his observations uh, and the, the most primitive kind of instruments. Uh, he's been called the greatest dead reckoning navigator who ever lived. Uh, so uh, th these were some of the abilities, some of the knowledge that Columbus gained in his years of sailing for Portugal. And during these years, uh, he became uh, more and more fascinated by the thought of what might lie on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, he, uh, in his journeyings, he had picked up uh, reports of strange objects washed up on the Atlantic coast, especially the offshore islands, uh, even some that appeared to be of human workmanship, carved objects, uh, and uh, trees, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, just um, vegetation that somehow had gotten across the Atlantic that was of an unfamiliar kind. Clues that there was some land not too far away on the other side of the ocean, possible to reach uh, by uh, sailing. Uh, so he began to develop uh, what later he called the Enterprise of the Indies. Now, Columbus believed uh, that uh, what was on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean was Asia. He believed that Asia extended much farther uh, uh, to the eastward than is actually the case. Uh, and he made uh, every effort to establish um, what uh, to him seemed to be scientific evidence for this from the reports of travelers to Asia, from uh, the uh, ancient uh, geographers and cosmographers, and of course his figures here were wrong. Asia uh, is thousands and thousands of miles away from Europe, uh, but Columbus became very sure that he could reach uh, this uh, uh, shore uh, on the other side of the Atlantic, which in fact he could do that, and the, uh, uh, he believed that shore to be Asia. He knew there was something there, and uh, he uh, uh, believed that Asia could be reached. So uh, once he had developed this project, of course, you see uh, from the map here that Asia is, is so far away, it's, it's way over here, uh, and it, if this had all been empty ocean, Columbus could never have crossed that vast span. But he also had evidence that there was something closer, you know, as in fact there is, the American coast, uh, and he just confused the two. So he developed the project for uh, reaching Asia by sailing to the west from Europe, and he presented this to the king of Portugal. But the king of Portugal rejected his program, uh, believing that uh, Asia was probably much farther away, and that in any case, the Portuguese were uh, re regularly moving southward along the African coast. By the time Columbus presented his project to the for Portuguese king early in the 1480s, the Portuguese had already gotten down here to the Congo region. Uh, so they were making steady progress. So they weren't interested in Columbus's project. That was what led Columbus to go to Spain. And on coming into Spain, he uh, uh, took up his, uh, he was given uh, the residence and given the support of a community of monks at a place called La Rabada near the uh, Spanish city town of Palos near Sevilla in this area of Spain. And uh, with the help of these monks and uh, uh, a few friends at court, he was able to get an audience with Queen Isabel in 1486. And she was immensely impressed. Uh, with Columbus the man. She did not know a great deal about uh, geography and seamanship in distant oceans. Uh, Spain had not become very much involved in that, uh, but she was impressed with Columbus the man. She was an outstanding judge of men. She knew that Columbus had unique abilities, that he was a genius, uh, that uh, he had uh, uh, the uh, kind of mind that could uh, put this data together and come up with a project that would be feasible and the determination to carry it through and a firm belief that God had given him the mission uh, to open up, uh, the, uh, to, to discover the truth about the lands beyond the sea. Uh, Isabel understood uh, this uh, kind of feeling, this kind of determination and commitment with a strong religious basis, since she had the same in her own way. 